This A5 grade Wagyu steak in Kobe was absolutely excellent. But this second, completely different A5 grade Wagyu steak from the same exact restaurant was also excellent. One of these was the famed Kobe beef, while the other was a different type of Japanese beef entirely. But given that these were purchased during the same meal and at the exact same price, do you think you can tell which one was which? And more importantly, which one do you think was more delicious? Because the answer was actually quite unexpected. But in order to understand why, let's cover some quick background on what makes Kobe beef a big deal in the first place. So first off, Kobe beef is a prestigious type of Wagyu. Specifically, it's from the Tajima strain of Japanese black cattle raised in the Hyogo prefecture of Japan. Wagyu is known for exceptional marbling and a unique fat composition that melts at lower temperatures. This creates a distinctly rich, buttery texture that enhances its flavor and mouthfeel. All Wagyu is graded by the Japanese Meat Grading Association based on standards around yield, marbling, meat color, texture and fat quality, with A4 and A5 being the highest scores. But to be officially certified as Kobe beef, even more stringent criteria must be met, with the aforementioned A4 to A5 rating being only the prerequisite. And it's these rigorous standards that ensure Kobe beef remains one of the highest quality, most sought after meats in the world. But now, let's get back to our own two A5 Wagyu steak sets. First off, each lunch course was the same price, with the same amount of beef, and came with various side dishes. As for the stars of the show, here's the first steak. Specifically, this is called rosu in Japanese, referring to the specific cut of meat. And as for the second steak, this cut was referred to as momo. But for both of these A5 Wagyu masterpieces, their deliciousness surely lived up to the reputation. Cooked to medium rare perfection, they were decadent, luscious, and melt in your mouth tender. But after seeing both, could you tell which one was the Kobe beef? Well, if you guessed the second steak, congratulations, as the Momo was indeed the cut of Kobe. And while it was exquisite, it was surprising surprisingly not the favourite of the meal, as it was the rosu that seemed to have an even greater level of marbling, butteriness and depth of flavour. This wagyu turned out to be Karawaki beef, a much lesser known but similarly premium breed of wagyu that seemed to share many characteristics with Kobe beef. But the real revelation lies not necessarily in the breed of cow, which was supposedly similar, but the cuts themselves. Mamo refers to the thigh cut of the cow that's most equivalent to top round in English, while rosu refers to sirloin. And it's the variance in these cuts that was the ultimate differentiator in our Wagyu experience. If we take a look back, we can more easily see the difference in leanness and marbling, which is to be expected between the two cuts. Though, at the end of the day, taste is relative, and some customers in Japan may prefer the leaner portion, as the momo cut is fairly common on yakiniku menus. However, our key takeaway is that not all cuts are equal, even when dealing with the finest wagyu. While the A5 grade guarantees exceptional quality, the specific cut significantly influences the overall dining experience. And and hopefully, keeping this in mind might come in handy on your future Wagyu explorations throughout Japan. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.